Hey guys, Alex Kolosko is here from 4Tg.com, your source for tutorials and uh, learning for studio photography. And uh, today I'll be testing uh, just a quick test of this uh, off-grid solution for photographers, I would say, because I have uh, non-battery powered packs. Uh, I wasn't thinking to, you know, that I need uh, any battery, but it appears that uh, now uh, we want to shoot a little bit more outside. And uh, instead of getting, you know, uh, battery powered packs, I thought, hey, what if we go completely off grid? So I got this uh, van, 2000 maximum, 1600 uh, watt uh, power inverter, gas, gas power. And uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to hook up two power packs, three uh, graphite, um, brown color graphite A4 and A2. Uh, 3200 32, watt second and uh, 1600 watt second respectively uh, so it's like a lot right uh, tons of power if needed and uh, we'll see how it will handle or not so first of all let's uh, put it on, on run boom it's very quiet i can tell you uh, you still will hear a lot of noise from it but it's basically really quiet and now let's start uh, turning on. This is one pack. I set both on a slow uh, recycle. So to make sure that it's not gonna uh, overload uh, the this inverter, it will be a slow recycling mode. Okay, uh, I have two heads connected on this guy. Let me show you which one uh, you see by modern light. And another one uh, has no modern light, but basically. Uh, turning off modern light just to test and see if we can shoot at full power, okay? Uh, it goes 1600 watt second on each head. 1600 watt second. Boom. This guy is on economy mode, meaning that it will run uh, on demand basically. Not on the maximum, uh, but on demand. When we need power, uh, engine, engine will uh, rev up. If not, it will come down. So you see, it works perfectly, brusting 3200 watt second uh, on the air. Let's connect another one. Well, it's connected. I'm turning it on. Okay, you see it kind of here. That's more thing. And two more heads. Uh, we have uh, again slow recycling, and we have 800 watt second on each. So maximum power for both heads. Let's do test both. Okay, it's modern light, sorry. That's modern light, it works fine. Uh, without modern light, I do test. You see? So it works, it's kind of cool. It's really cool and uh, I can run and run those tests. And this guy cost me, because it was sale, less than $400. So for less than $400, I got completely off grid and I can shoot things, uh, not a video, because it's loud, but photography without any problem. Video probably will be okay if I'll put it a little bit far away, so it's not as loud as uh, it could be. Boom, boss. It takes time to recycle because it's... Oh, you know, let's try this. Let's try uh, put it into fast, uh, fast recycling mode. Okay, it's fast and let's... Uh, run a test oh, okay it just shuts down so no way it can run on fast it has overload you see the overload is blinking so it means that we we hit it uh, and uh, the only way to to get it uh, is to turn it off this way so it works fine for 56, no, 5200 watt second on both broncolor packs uh, on the maximum power from two if it's on a slow recycling mode. And I like it. Stay tuned, subscribe for the channel if you want uh, more updates. Look at our local workshops. Uh, this is our studio here in uh, San Jose, in South San Jose. Well, Campbell, anyway, it's a Campbell. And we're running workshops. If you're interested in uh, joining us, uh, just check 40G workshops, uh, see what is going on, and definitely subscribe to the channel because, well, more tutorials, uh, more reviews are coming soon. 
and we're going to test this guy somewhere outside with the beautiful weather to see how it will work against sun. Some really cool stuff can be shoot with it, I'm sure. I'm excited. Okay, bye.